On July 22, 2015, two brothers, 18-year-old Robert Bever, and 16-year-old Michael Bever, committed one of the worst cases of familicide in American history. At around 11.30 p.m. on that day, 12-year-old Daniel Bever telephoned 911. Crying and panicked, he told the operator that his brother was attacking his family. During the brief two-minute phone call, the phone was taken from Daniel, and another male could be heard, before the line went dead. Daniel was later found murdered, having been stabbed 21 times, in his shoulder, back, and chest. Sadly, Daniel was not the only family member that the brothers would murder that night. David Bever, their father, was killed. He was stabbed at least 28 times, in the stomach, face and neck. Their mother, April Bever, died from being stabbed 48 times. Their other brother, Christopher, 7, died from 21 stab wounds. Their sister Victoria, 5, died after being stabbed 23 times. Another sister, 13-year-old Crystal, was stabbed several times in her stomach, and her throat was slit. However, she somehow survived, and was able to identify her brothers as the attackers. The interrogation you are about to see, is with Michael Bever, in which he describes both the murders, and the reason behind them. It's truly disturbing to see someone at such a young age, talking so matter-of-factly about murdering their family. The subjects and details in this interrogation are disturbing, viewer discretion is advised. Can you still read some stuff to you? It makes it legal for us to talk to you, okay? okay. Um, so like I told you when I met you at the jail, mine's there. I'm a detective here with Broken Heart Police. Like she told you from Adriana, she's a detective also. Um, and uh, we just want to spend some time and maybe talk and discuss some things and maybe ask you some questions, let you ask us some questions and make sure we're all comfortable with what's going on and then we'll go from there. That sound good? Okay. So you've probably heard or seen this on TV before, but it's your notification of rights, your Miranda rights. And so I'm going to read them to you, but I want to sit here where you can see the paper, because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read one through five right here. And so I'll read them, and you kind of can look at it with me. I want to make sure you understand all these. Um, you have the right to remain silent. You do not have to answer any questions or make any statement. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before we ask you any questions. And you have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, the court will appoint one for you before you are asked any questions. Um, it's hard to read it sideways. Um, if you want to answer questions now without a lawyer being present, you may do so. You have the right to stop answering questions at any time. So you understand what those are saying? Basically, if you want an attorney, just tell me. Um, if you don't like any of the questions I ask, just tell me to stop. Um, if you get uncomfortable, we'll stop whenever you want. Kind of, you're in control. Does that sound good? Okay. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to read this waiver to you right here, yeah. and you look at it as I read it to you, because I'll make sure you understand it. Um, it says, I have read the statement of my rights shown above. I understand what my rights are. I'm willing to answer questions and make a statement. I do not want a lawyer present at this time. I understand and know what I am doing. No promises or threats have been made to me, and no pressure of any kind has been used against me. So if you agree with that statement that I just read to you that you're looking at, if you'll sign right there. I don't know why I can do my signature. Yeah, just whatever you can do the best. And then if you will um, read and answer one through four for me. Put like high school. Yeah. Yeah, because you had said you graduated? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's all we need. So you put high school for your formal education, yeah. and are you presently on any drugs or medication? You answered no. Are you under the influence of alcohol? You answered no. And you do read and speak English, obviously, you put yes. Yeah. Sound good? Okay. Um, do you take any prescription medications? 
Well, man, I'm, you know, I just kind of got thrown into this, so I was hoping maybe you could kind of just go back at the beginning when all this started and kind of tell me what happened, because I need, I need kind of the details so we know and understand what, what you went through and stuff. Okay, so I'm the very start. Mm -hmm. Okay, about like uh, two months ago. Okay. Is when we first uh, really started talking. So when you say we, who are you talking about? Me and my brother who is also. Your his brother? Name. Yeah, who's he has been there. And what's his name? Uh, Robert. Pepper. Robert? Okay. And how old is he? Uh, 18. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, a couple months ago, I think we got to the start this year, we started talking about. Uh, Bojo and Rampage and stuff like that. Okay. And I didn't take it seriously at first, but then he started buying like a body armor and stuff. Where did he buy body armor from? eBay and Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah, legal. Does yeah. he have a job? He did at my tech, he quit, so there we go. Um, and uh, basically, it just kept escalating, he kept getting ruined, and he asked if I wanted in, and I said yes, so he got me my own set. Okay. And then, about a month, about like June 30th, is when he came to me and said he found out that he can legally buy guns without permit in Oklahoma, and he could. Okay. And uh, that's when he started planning. And, um, Did you... Now, you said he bought body armor, but you kind of said like a bunch of stuff that he bought. What else did he buy besides body armor? Um, besides body armor, knives, and he was in the middle of buying guns and ammunition. I see. Okay. Where did, where did he buy the knives from? He did. Okay. Like eBay. Can you tell me like how many knives or what they looked like or anything like that? I think he had about three normal knives and then one small can of packs. Okay. And then, um, the guns. Where did you start buying guns from? Um, he bought them online. I think the website's like Bud's Gun Shop and it's all right. And he bought two blocks, two block 41. And, um, and a shotgun. I forget, it's like a box food, I think. Um, okay. Bought the block stuff with the website called Bud's Gun Shop, I think. Okay. And he bought the moss food off with the official website and then had them shipped to, um, like, you have an hour gun. You have an hour gun. So they were actually, I've got now waiting for him. So they were going, they were shipped to... To a gun shop. Here in Broken Arrow? Yep. Okay. And they were, Where is that gun shop, do you know? Um, he said seven miles away, he was planning on biking up. Okay. It's like, um, and I think it's nice to get them all. It's like the Okinawa gun shop. Okay. Or something. And, um, then he bought, I think it was like 250 shotgun rounds. Okay. On eBay. Not even on some website. On some website. Then I think he bought close to a thousand rounds for the box. Wow. Okay. And uh, but he still. Oh, so he was supposed to have to take those up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was supposed to pick them up today. Um, and where was he supposed to pick those? By the ammunition. It was being shipped to the house. The guns were the open now gun shop. Okay. Do you know what his um, eBay? Uh, User was? No. no. Okay. I just didn't know if you'd ever been on eBay and shopped or anything. Uh, well, I, I used to a long time ago, and I like, you know, not all this stuff. Yeah. So then, uh, so, so he was buying weapons because mm -hmm. you guys had talked about murdering. Yeah, and he stopped playing again. Okay. And then I went along with it because I see the other way. I thought I wouldn't want to do it. I very quickly and went tonight, but I didn't. Okay, that you didn't want to do it? I don't want to do it. I didn't, um, just before I didn't kill anyone. Okay. I stabbed someone. Who did you stab? Um, my younger brother, Christopher. Christopher? How old is Christopher? Um, nine, I think. What did you stab him with? Um, my knife. What's your knife look like? It's green, on kind of like camouflage on it, see what On where your hand goes or where the blade is? It's camouflage? Yeah, it's all camouflage. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah. How big is it? Show me how big it is. I think it's about this big. Okay. What so what was, what was Christopher doing when you stabbed him? He was laying on the bathroom floor. Robert was also stabbing him. Robert asked him to go over and help him. So I stabbed Christopher and then... Where did you stab him? Oh, stabbed the neck. Really? Okay. You okay? Yeah. You okay? Let me know if you need a break or anything, okay? I'm good. Um, so, was Christopher still alive when you stabbed him? Yes. 
What was he saying and doing? He was just swearing. Swearing. Was did you say it was in the bathroom? Yeah, he was next to the toilet at home with that bathroom. Who else was in the bathroom? Oh, I think I think Victoria might have been in there. I boat. Victoria. Yeah, my uh, four-year-old sister. Four-year-old. Okay. Um, I want to talk about that more, but I, we got to try to kind of stay like chronologically, if you know what I mean. Um, so let's go back real quick. Um, we talked about the ammunition being delivered, uh, making plans. Tell me more about making plans and what you guys talked about. Making plans, we all plotted every night, and I started realizing we were actually going to do this thing on the second night, and so I started getting ready. When was that? You said second night? What do you mean? July 1st. Okay. Because we started June 30th. That's when you started making the plan? Yeah, that's when we found out you could buy a gun sleep. I see. Did you guys draw, make drawings or write things down? Or? I think he had a journal. He basically got his ideas down. I think it's under his bed. Under his I bed. Check that. Is it like a like, like, like a journal? Like a notepad or like yeah, a book? It's like a it's like a blank book. Okay. A black book. I think it's like a little case. Or so you think he wrote stuff in there? Yeah, I think he was planning it. Huh. Um so then the second day you said that's when you realized that it might actually happen. Yep. What made you realize that? Um, how serious he was. I mean, he was going through. He started. Um, he started planning on taking all of his money out of his uh, bank and throwing away stuff, throwing mm -hmm. away all this stuff. So you know. Why did he want to do it? To that kill people. Yeah. Um. Well, it's mainly two reasons. I think it's um because he just like he says he hates. Everyone he thinks society is pointless, and so he wanted to kill people. No, no, and also, he wanted to like beat, um, beat the kill, like amount of other famous people like Columbine and then to uh, James Egan Holmes. Okay, did you kind of feel that way too? Like when you guys were talking earlier, like yeah, it, like do you have a problem with society too? You think? No, no, I just. Or you were just more like the the number of people getting killed was kind of interesting and yeah, exciting. Yeah. Okay. So, because um, you mentioned a couple names of are those like serial killers or something? What like Columbine? Yeah. I would call him that James Egan Holmes. James Egan Holmes is a guy that shot at the theater in Colorado. Yeah, he killed twelve in so. Wow. How many were killed in Columbine? Columbine, I don't know, like fifteen. Okay. I think. Um, so did you guys have a goal? Do you have a number? He just wanted, I think he wanted to kill like 50. Okay. I have a goal. So how, okay, so as the planning goes, tell me, tell me what, what plans you started making and coming up with. Well, originally, I think we kind of stayed steady uh, throughout the month. Is so we wanted to kill everyone at the house first. Okay. And then wait for all the packages to show up over the weekend. Um, then they would take the economy to have our state with the guns and that stuff. Okay. So can Did you know where you were going to drive to? Uh, we towards Washington. Washington State or DC? Washington State. It's Washington State. State. Why would you go to Washington State? It's just just kind of, just, no yeah, it's just kind of the direction we went And you said Yukon, do your parents have like a Yukon, is that what it is? Yeah, okay. it's a large Yukon, like so. Does Robert have a driver's license? He has a woman's book. Okay. So he would be able to drive it. Can you drive if you, I mean, if you had to? No, problem. Well, you can play video games, surely you can drive a car. <laughs> Just not very well. I mean, you could get it from point A to B. You might hit some things on the way, but, okay. <clears throat> um, so you had your plan. Mm -hmm. So then, so what happened after, I mean, tell me some more. Well, I think everything started falling in place. So the next one, there's the yeah, Clay right there. There we go. Cool. Oh, maybe it's from your finger, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, back a week before, is when I fell, I started feeling way useless stuff. Okay. I need. And so did he. Did you guys, like, give things away to friends or anything like that? Or just... in the trash. I'm sure a lot of it's still in the barrels in the garage. In the garage? Yeah. What kind of know. stuff did you throw away? Random stuff, toys, you know, stuff that was just piled up in my closet and he had the room to put the body armor. Oh, I see. Old shoes, clothes. Did you have, how long have you had the body armor? The body armor? Robert's had his 
Kind of since it started ago, and we've been buying it. Well, he's been buying it. Did, and was it, was it shipped to the house? Yeah. Do your parents know? I mean, did they know it? They them? knew he had bulletproof vests. They always thought that it was a little wild, but they yeah. didn't say anything about it. Did he have anything else, like the, the gear that the guys wear, helmets or goggles or gloves? He had a soft Kevlar vest, a heavy, um, I don't know, it's like a metal plated vest. A okay. little fear and a little fear. He had a, a helmet, bulletproof helmet, a bulletproof DEA mask, and one wow. goes. Wow. Also, like a like knife proof. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Knife and you know, ball of water. Okay. So, yeah, it's nice. And then your, the body armor that you had, what was it like? It was almost identical. Okay. Just a couple of different, you know, different models and stuff. And where is your body armor now? Oh, my vests and my helmets. It was laying in the woods. The dog pulled it off of me. Oh, wow. I was wearing it. Oh, you were wearing it? Yeah, I was wearing the sort of vest and the plate kind of really Okay. Helmet. So I took that. And the rest of my body armor is still in the closet. Okay. So then kind of what happened is, I mean, you guys started getting all that stuff together and... Yeah. You're throwing things away. And yeah, and we knew that all the packages and the holsters, and all that stuff was going to get out from Amazon. And so we set a date. So was the plan um, to use the knives at first on yeah. the family? Yeah, it was Because the guns weren't going to be here till later on? Yeah, and the guns would be too loud. Oh, I see. So um, going to use the knives on the family, which obviously mm -hmm. did not go as planned. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Um, no, I just sort of know my story to my map. Like, we didn't put more people out there coming in. So. Yeah. Did, um, so then you picked a date, you said? Yeah, which was yesterday. Yesterday night was the date. So did you pick a time and everything? Yep, yeah, midnight when most of you were in bed except for mom. So, how did you guys know? He just came and got you, or you got him, or what did you guys we, we were hanging out, yeah, that's good way. Okay, and so... How'd you, you pick the date? Um, we were eager vaulting on with the packages and stuff would be how. Because, you know, all the ammunition, he didn't want them to see that. So we killed him the day before the ammunition would get out the day after we would leave. Do you guys, mm -hmm. um, do you guys not like your mom and dad? I mean, is there, are they, I mean, I'm, most teenagers don't like their parents, so I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, mom's okay, but dad was a little bit, you know. Just a little bit too much. Yes. So, you guys waited in the room, mm -hmm. and was it right when midnight, and that's when things started? Right at midnight, um, my sister, and she came in, because she was going to get to go to bed, she came in to tell us. Um, How old was she? 13. Okay. She came in to tell us that her mom wanted us to get the kitchen done before we went to bed and put the cats up. And it's basically, we did what we planned, I, 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 I got to my desk, and I like had to look at something to this guy to roll up, but went up behind her, grabbed her, and slept with her. Really? What did he use? Um, his large red knife. Okay, a large red knife. Yeah, it's like my own. Is it? It's like my own red. Right? Oh, one. I see. Okay. Um, and then she fell to the ground screaming. Mom and Dad. You know, Mom came in first, and then. She's is your room upstairs or something? I don't know. I don't know. Um, house, but I don't know. Her room is downstairs. It's towards the back. The okay. House. And so she fell down and started screaming. Yeah, well, I kept stabbing her. I kind of freaked out because, you know, mm -hmm. I wasn't planning on this. Were you saying anything? Or, I mean. I just stood there. Okay. And then Mom came in yelling, called the police. And then he went over and stabbed her. And then he stabbed her? Yeah, he probably stabbed her, pushed her. You know, floated down the hallway and got up and ran. Okay. She ran out the door. When now, okay, so she sat down at your desk mm -hmm. and he slid her through. Well, said. she was standing at my desk and oh, came up behind and slid her through, and then she fell down screaming. And then he stabbed her some more? When he was stabbing her some more, was it, where was he stabbing her? Her neck. Oh, her neck. Her neck and her stomach. Stomach, okay. And, um, and then my mom came in and she started yelling, called the police, get dad. And then he came over and started attacking her. He actually got up and ran out the front door. Wow. And um, once mom was on the ground, he got up and started chasing after her. And what were you doing? Standing. Did you come out in the hallway? No, no, I was just standing in the room. And the process, I don't know what I was doing. So he stabbed your mom with the same knife? Yep, same knife. And where did he stab her? 
I think in the neck too. Okay. And, um, and no, actually, he stabbed him in the neck, pushed him into the kitchen, and then together. So the other two started screaming and ran into the family room. At the same time, he fell asleep and left the house. Okay. I went over and disabled the alarm. Okay. That's what I did. And then where's he ran, the the pad for your alarm? It's not the front door. It's what? It's now the front door. Near the front door. Yeah. And then, so I went over and disabled the alarm. So. When, yeah. But has she already gone outside? She went outside and then Robert went after her. So where where did she uh... She she was laying in the driveway and he to go her back from you know the bench, you know, if we don't know it, okay. and started choking her. Like I guess on the bench from, out yeah, front? Yeah, it was like a little bench and he threw the bench on her and went back inside to go after the little kids. Did he bring her in or did she stay out there? She stayed out there until he asked me to be in her and I ran out I had to go her inside, that's why she was in the um and they get to get away. I think I'll go inside. So oh, you brought her back in. Yeah, she's she was still, still alive. Yeah, she was still screaming. And then at about the time, Dad came down. Okay. Because his bedroom was upstairs. And he went back in the police area where Robert was. The police area, that's what they call it. Um, um, and they started attacking there. They got a whole, little bit of a fight. Um, but then eventually, Robert got him down. And um, I think he killed him. Did he cut his throat too? Um, where did that happen? In our room. In your room? Yep. And uh, where were you? I was standing in the hallway. Okay. So did you see him cut your dad's throat? Yeah. Did he stab him other places too? I don't know. I think he just went for the field. And, um, and where was she? was in the entryway? Yeah, she was in, I think she was in the entryway about that time. And then, um, and then he went out and and uh, Daniel was in uh, his room, which is you know, down the hall. And I was oh, like, let me... How old is Daniel? Oh, um, I, think it's, I think it's 12. Okay. And um, I was like, let me in. Uh, and he let me in. He was sitting on the phone with the police. I grabbed the phone, you know, which is my phone. He got my phone. And then I went into the kitchen and I smashed the underground. To the which phone. was your phone? Yeah, it was my phone. Oh. I don't have a cell phone anymore. <laughs> um, and then I went back down, and he, um, and Daniel and Christopher, Christopher locked himself in the bathroom, Daniel locked himself in Dad's office. Okay. And then I finally got both of them to open to Joe, um, because they thought I wanted in there. But they were in different room. rooms? Yeah, they were right next to each other. Right? Oh, I see. And then, um, Robert went in and stabbed him, and they went in and, uh, stabbed Christopher, that's, that's my step. So when he stabbed Daniel, where did he stab Daniel? I think he um, shanked him in the neck and then Daniel ran off and so he went in and started attacking Christopher. So Daniel got stabbed in the neck and ran off? Yeah. Where did he run to? He ran into the family room about mom. Mom ended up, she was lying on the ground yelling, call 911. Okay. And, and he stopped in there? Yeah, he lay, he collapsed in there and then Michael came in and started stabbing him in the chest. Oh, I see. Um, then, and then, who's the youngest, the four-year-old? The four-year-old, I don't know what happened with her. I hope she's alive, right? I'm sorry, and maybe I, I missed that. The, the one that you stabbed, who, who was that? Christopher. Christopher, that's he's right. A, he's, he's a, a eight. Year old, I think. He's eight. Ten. And he was in the bathroom. Yep. So Daniel had got stabbed in the neck, ran out mm -hmm. to where your mom was. Yeah. He, Robert he, followed him, stabbed him some more. Yeah, after, after we uh, stabbed Christopher in the bathroom. Oh, I see. Okay. And um, and then basically after that, Vietnam uh, was pretty much dead. We forgot about all. Who was dead? Everyone, I think. Okay. It looked like they were dead, except for she was lying in the interview screaming. Then that was a knock at the door. Oh, okay. Someone knocked at the door. I think that might be the neighbor because the police wouldn't have been there yet. And then they just kept knocking on the door. So we turned around and I grabbed on it. I uh, put my soft vest and heavy vest on, I was carrying the plates, I put my helmet on. And then we went, we went up the back door of Dad's office, climbed over the fence, went down into the park, and started cutting through the woods. Okay. Uh, well, we both collapsed. And we started screaming, we were just sitting there, and they found us. That's how you got kind of dirty and stuff, dirt on you. So you guys collapsed, or were you just kind of hiding out? Yeah, we were just laying in a little ditch thing in the woods. And then we saw the light and we laid down and the, the dog came yeah, over. The dog. Stopped. Did you hear the dog coming? Mm -hmm. I heard them coming. I saw them coming and then they started yelling and put your hands up. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I stepped on my head and handcuffed me. Okay. 
Can you kind of, okay, I'm a little bit lost, I think because there's too many people in this house. Um, there's you, there's Robert, okay, you're 16, he's 18, then who's next? Yeah, she's at the oldest, she was the first one. Okay, and then Daniel? And then Christopher. Then Christopher. Mm -hmm. And then Victoria. Victoria. Then She's four. Yeah, Victoria's four. Okay. And what's mom's name? April. April. April that room um on Mary I think you call it. It's sharp. Sharp? Yeah. Okay. Um Okay. And Victoria's four. Mm -hmm. And then what's dad's name? Uh, David. David? Okay. David. David. Yeah. And then are there any other kids? How many kids is that? Um, That's... Then there was... She's a baby, she's about to turn to a toddler. She was up in her bed. Okay. I think I was food. He forgot about her. And I think she stayed asleep until the police came. So I saw them get her out, so she's okay. What was, uh... So you saw them carrying her out? Yeah, yeah, I was in the car. Was it the plan was to kill her too, though? We just want to kill that one. Okay. Yeah. So when y'all got done at the house, where were you going to go? Um, we were going to hang out there for at least the day. We were going to get like, together the bodies in a room or something, maybe the attic. Clean up and then wait for the ammunition, go pick up the guns and then go we'll all leave the next day. Where, where, where were you going to go? I mean, where was your, going to be your mass plan to get the um, most people, the most bang for your buck? We were just heading uh, generally towards Washington State. We were going to either do it statewide. Did you guys have, like, like where are you going to go? I mean, who else were you going to kill? Just whoever you ran into? Yeah, pretty much. We, we said five at a time, like gas stations, restaurants. Okay, and then just there. keep going. Yep. Did, um, how, did he have some money saved up or something? Yeah, he had about 480 after buying all the online weapons. Plus, I still had that. Yeah, plus sometimes he had the buy he had. Oh, okay. So. So we talked a lot about your plans in the beginning because here's what I don't understand is um, as, you, as you and Robert are kind of planning things out, I mean, because you seem like a really smart kid and that you kind of, I mean, it seems like you had some pretty detailed plans. You guys had good equipment and weapons and it seems to me, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I would think that as you guys plan this out, you had maybe more specific plans, like Robert was going to kill this person, and yeah. you were going to kill. So who were you supposed to kill? I was supposed to take my pistol crossbow. Who was supposed to shank his? Soul. She was supposed to die quietly. We, yeah, she was supposed to be the first one. She was, and then um, Robert would go and slip on the or push you over, and we both go in and crawl. Because they were supposed to be like quiet. Right? Yeah, it was supposed to be with it. And then I would go upstairs and. Uh, shoot David, Dad, and the guy with my pistol crossbow would okay. kill him, and then Mother would go over and kill him. Okay. So did you, use your, did you use your crossbow at all? No. I, at the only time I ever hurt anybody um, was when I stabbed Christopher in the neck. Did, um, did Robert use your crossbow? No, no, it's just saying the whole time. Where is your crossbow? I think it's on my bed still, unless they collected it. So did you have it out ready to go, and then it just kind of didn't go as planned? Yeah, no, nothing was planned. Yeah. Um, did, um, I think we talked about it, but did Robert, um, you said he had a knife that was just like yours, but it was red. Yeah. Did he ever use another knife on anybody else or anything? I don't think he did. I mean, he had another small surgical blade knife. Yeah. It's not like four inches. He said he was going to use it, but where was that? In his pocket. Okay. Along, he had three knives. A large, about 15 inch black one. Like a machete kind of thing? Yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of like a K bar knife. Okay. And um, the where, 12. Where and, was that, the big one? It was also, it was standing on his belt. Okay. And um, the one he used, the 12 inch okay. one. And um, then the small surgical blade. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so, who, who all died? Who do you know died for sure? Like, what's the count? How do we know? I don't know. Okay. Who do you think died? 
um, dad, mom, to Anne and Hope. That's, that's about all I know because I saw them. And Daniel's the one you used to have? Um, no, Chris was one I stabbed. Yeah. Daniel's the one he went in and oh, I that's right. stabbed him in the box. And he was in the living room? Yeah, in the living yeah, room with mom. And Christopher, you stabbed him in the neck? Yeah, he was in the bath, you know. So how did, I mean, was he still making noise when you left, or how did that go? Yeah, down? he was still yelling me, I left home for him. Um, I think he might have been alive, because like, I came back and the door was shot and locked his head to kick it down. Okay. Um, which is one of those holes in that door. So... Um, you kicked it down? I didn't kick it down. Okay. I just had to go back into that. Yeah. It stayed intact, I don't know if so like he's still alive. Did you, because um, here's what I'm seeing happen, you know, you guys had all these detailed plans, you had all the cool stuff to make it happen, yeah. and it kind of started falling apart, and you said, like, it didn't go as planned. I think, I mean, did you kind of just freak out a little bit, like, yeah, this is really happening? Well, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to, like... Yeah, you don't, but here's what's, here's what's getting me, is like, it's crazy because you guys worked together and made all these plans, and you know had it all figured out, and then when it happens, you're just kind of standing there not doing anything. And did you did you decide like Robert's going to kill everybody, and I'm going to stand here and do nothing, so I better? I mean, did you? Is yeah, that, I think I think that was my plan. I was I, I didn't want to kill anyone. I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it, so I just wanted to let him like kill everyone. Yeah, but you stabbed somebody in the neck. No, I mean, I just kind of. Well, what I'm saying is, is it's not Robert's the one that should get all the credit here. I mean, for I mean, um, yeah, well, because it's a big deal. I mean, you're gonna be on the news. Um, you know what I mean? People are gonna want to interview you. Yeah, I, mean, I don't mind being a big one of this. Well, but I'm just thinking. He does. Because you had said you had the plans, like. You're supposed to kill this person. Yep. He's supposed to kill this person. Were you supposed to kill Christopher? Was he your responsibility? No. Um, it just worked out that way. Daniel was supposed to be his responsibility. I was okay. only supposed to kill Dad. But he had already basically done that. Yeah. So now you're left standing there. So were you trying to kill Christopher when you stabbed him in the neck? Were you just gonna? I don't. I mean. I, I put this in the middle of the neck. I think I might have even hit him in the shoulder. I just wanted him to do hard, but I don't know. So, originally, your responsibility was Victoria. Victoria. And Dad. And Dad. Yep, that's what I was supposed to take care of. Did you guys talk specifically? Because you said you said the crossbow, so you said I mean you guys had it planned like this is specifically how we're gonna do it. Yeah, it was very specific unfortunately, you know. Mm -hmm. I think he got his plan to move or something that's doesn't look out that way. Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be a lot quicker and quieter, I guess. I mean, did you, um, so had your cell phone, is that right? Uh, Daniel had my cell phone. Daniel, I know. I got, they got my cell phone and called the police. So when you, when did you last have your cell phone that you remember? Yeah, I remember, I think, I think it was in my pocket, like either that or I was sitting on the living room couch. Okay. And I don't know when he got it. So you had... Maybe left it on the living room couch and gone to your room. You yeah. know, you guys are waiting for things to go down. Yeah, okay. Did he like ever use your phone or play with it or do any of that stuff? No, he wasn't allowed to. So did he only get your phone because he was trying to call for help? Yep. So you think he went to the living room and got it? Yeah, I think he did because um, mom was laying in the living room and I was screaming, call okay. the police. And so somehow he came down the hall? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if he got him in my room. And while I was outside, I was doing nothing at all. Okay. I don't know what was. Do you know what alarm company your alarms are? Oh, uh, we we never actually um 
it's the, it's just the alone. Mm -hmm. The sound is just the sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, just the sign. I think it's eighteen ADT or whatever. And are there cameras or anything in your house? Yeah. Where do those record to? Hallways, living rooms, and, um, another hallway, and um, is there a, is it go to a computer or something somewhere? I don't think it was being recorded. No, oh. just live. Do you not have? Oh, so is there a TV where you can watch it somewhere? Yeah, uh, yeah my dad watches it on his phone. He has an app. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just is that phone. through like the cable company or something? Or? No, I think it's something he set up, like his own little server or something. Oh, okay. You don't think it's being recorded? I don't know if it was being recorded. I mean, his computer system is like, you know, super hard to get into. Oh, but is it like a good computer system? It's a good computer system. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's like a database engineer or something. So. Oh, that's right. Um, what, so as all this was going on, what was Robert saying? Did he say anything to you? He, he didn't say anything to me until uh, we were getting ready to head out the back door. I asked him if he was okay, what was going on. He said, yeah. Okay. So you guys were just kind of silent the whole time? Yeah, I was silent. Did you cut your finger? Is that your other hand? Is that? I think I think I might have done, no, I think I might have done this one. It's kind of a step Christopher. Okay. So, so that might be from your own knife is what you think? Yeah, it's my Are you right or left handed? I'm right handed. Right handed. And so how do you think you cut your finger? I was kind of. Were you, were you holding him? No, he was, he, was on the, he was on the floor, but you know, I, I, got him. I like to give you something. You don't remember? I cut, yeah, I cut it with my own knife, I know that. Hmm. And it was, you think it was during the time when you were stabbing him? Yeah, around that time. Hmm. Did you say anything to Christopher? I just No. So, so you stabbed him, now it's several hours later. How are you feeling? This whole thing, like, film when you first stab to get caught, I think it only lasted about 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that was like, because it's, it's 8 o'clock in the morning now. So it's like 8 hours ago. Yeah. So how do you feel now? I mean, I just kind of... I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I should have done that. So you were saying you pleaded with, I guess when they were locked in the bathroom and what, we don't, yeah, what other um, room were they locked in? Uh, the bathroom, and they were right next to it is um, my dad's office, Dan and locked himself in his office. Is it just one door to get into the bathroom and the office? No, they're right, two doors got next to each other. Right next to like this? Like, like, you know, like this. In the corner? Yeah, yeah kind of. And, um, and I was like, I said, how old Robert's at to me, and they both opened up. Yeah. And which room did you go in? I went into the bathroom, just, you know, I stepped close to food. Okay. But then the, what, did Robert go Robert in? Robert went into the uh, office where Daniel was stabbed, and Daniel ran off and he came into the bathroom and started stabbing Christopher. I left. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. So, I guess where I'm kind of confused is if you didn't want this anymore and you didn't want this to go down this way, why con them into opening the doors and letting this I continue? I was trying to help Robert. you guys um, ran out the back door with all your stuff, and of course that wasn't part of the plan. Yeah. Did okay. you guys talk and like, hey, we need to go this way, and now it's high? I think we pretty much knew where to go. Okay. Um, I just kept asking if he was okay, because you know, we had to like, he was about to you know, collapse. Okay. Because you guys have been through those woods before? Just... Yeah, we used to play them. Okay. So we knew where to go. Um, and you said someone had knocked at the door. Yeah, that's why we didn't go through the council and get in the vehicle. Okay. Because someone was at the door. And, and you said maybe that was a neighbor. I think it was a neighbor, yeah. But did you also think it was the police? I know if it was the police, they would have, uh, they would have gotten into the door because was lying right down. Okay. In the view of the window screening. What was, um, when did you realize the police were there? When we were in the woods. Okay. Um, and how did you know? We heard the sirens and uh, 
dog when we sleep. They had a couple of nights later, we saw the lights. And they heard a dog? Yeah. Was a dog barking or growling or something? It was, it was growling. Yeah. yeah. Pulled me up. Okay. Pulled so at, at the point when you heard the sirens and stuff, were you guys kind of hiding and hungry? Yeah, down? we had been sitting, we had been sitting down. Oh, out the they were behind you? Yeah. Okay. To the ditch. So did you guys tell anybody else your plans? I didn't. I, I didn't tell anyone else. I'm not a lot of us talking to people online about it. So how many computers are in this house? I think everyone has at least one computer on those, like, um, the Chromebooks, which Daniel Perry and Christopher use. I have two laptops. They use for game design. My brother has also has two laptops. Some type. Um, has a tablet laptop thing. Where are your two laptops? Um, they don't room. Robert's is in his closet. Mine is on the desk. Do you guys share a room? Yeah. Okay. So you have two. Do you use both of them, or one's an old one and one's, one's an old one? So you don't really use that. No, I was gonna get a. Uh, Take the photos guys and stuff. I see. And your newer one's on the desk? Yeah, next to the old one. And then Robert has two, but he has an old and new one? Yeah, yeah, same same things. And I have an old compact, he has an old compact. Okay. What's your new one? I have a gateway. And then laptops. what's Robert's new one? Also a gateway laptop. Okay. Small. And where is his new one? Uh, in the closet, I think, with his old one. Oh. Mine's on the desk with my old one. Okay. We were going to go on a plan, you know, taking photos guys out. No, to take them with you or something? No, oh, as an old one. Yeah, we want to keep them. Yeah. Okay, let's go away. Do you, um, does your laptop have like a passcode or password on it or something? Yeah, I can tell you the password. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. What is it? Um, once I got a dry high school, I changed it to a, like hashtag 2014 capital G grad. Capital G. Yeah, grad. Grad. G. G R A D. Yeah. And then G is capital. Mm -hmm. I see. <clears throat> Do you know the password on Roberts? No. And so is your I may have asked you already, is where's your knife now? Do you know? Or where my knife knives? all uh, my feet knives are in my pocket. Where my pocket knife. Oh uh, when you got caught. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, so here's a problem that we might have, and, and I don't want it to be an issue for you because you've been really cooperative. Um, you know, we're going to talk to Robert too. Yeah. So he's going to give us his version of the story, and, you know, sometimes they're going to be different. So um, is there anything? that you kind of didn't quite tell me right, or you changed a little bit, and now that you understand that Robert's going to tell me everything. I, I, um, I hope I tell you that I could forgive them, because that's why I told him, you know, when you were sitting out in the woods, you know, to make conversation, but, you know, for instance, I'll show you how this guy puts the food. What three? What do you mean you told him? So you told him you killed three people? Yeah, I told him, because he asked me how many did you get, I said three. Did you tell him who you got? No, I just said to you. Um. So do you, I, I guess this is my question for you, do you think it's a lesser sentence if you killed one or if you killed three? No. Okay. What, I mean, I don't know, I, I think Robert, he may have there's going to be a lot of differences. That's what I'm concerned about. And we don't want you to come off as a liar. I mean, because you've been real cooperative. You seem like a really good kid. You know, you graduated high school early. Um, you're designing games. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you got going on. And so I don't want people to get a bad opinion of you and think that you're the type of guy that lies to police when he's kind of caught. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so tell me, I know that you're leaving something out. There's, I mean, because it, it's like she said, um, you know, you're, this isn't like you stole a bicycle. You know, this is the most you can do. 
you know. So it's a big deal. Um, but a lot of people, when they talk and think about this thing, your honesty is a big deal and how you handle yourself from here on out. And if you come off, because to me you don't seem like a bad guy, you know, like you don't scare me. I, I mean, I never, never thought you would have done this. So you just seem like a normal kid to me. And you seem like an honest kid. But see, I talk to people all the time, and I mean, I, I know when people are lying or when, when I'm not quite getting the whole story. And so I just want to catch you before you get in that bad spot where people start saying you're a bad guy, you're evil, you're a liar. So just tell me what I'm missing. Well, I mean, along with the do thing, I was uh, going on to like convincing the people who were still alive that like I was on their side and I called the police, you know, so they would like stay and I would get them. So they kind of stay on the ground and he he'd be able to come stab him again. Yeah. Did you ever have to um, <clears throat> go get Robert to let him know someone was still making too much noise or anything? No, no, it was, it was uh, chaotic. He was just going from person to person. So what yeah. kind of things did you say to them? Uh, but uh, the only things I uh, said to them was when I was trying to convince them that I was with them so they would, you know, come to me and kill them. Okay. And that's all you think that he might tell me different? Um, Is he going to lie to me? I don't know. I don't think he would lie because I'm pretty sure the only reason he's, like, he want, he let himself get arrested is not like getting him major shootout and dying from the police is because he went to see the aftermath. So I don't know what he's going to Oh, I see. So you think he may kind of just tell us what happened to him? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Did you guys talk about um, being on the news and getting to see each other on TV and stuff? Yep. What kind of things did you say and talk about? Um, mostly about how we were playing on killing more people. You know, yeah. Talk. And um, I would become famous, we'd get on Wikipedia lists. Oh, okay. People. That'd be a big deal, yeah. I mean, do you think they might even make a movie or something, or a TV show? I don't know about a movie or TV show, but... Uh, Did you guys talk about that? Yeah, definitely documentaries and stuff. He just wanted to be famous. What did you want? Me? Mm -hmm. You keep talking about what he wanted, what did you want? Well, no, I just wanted to go by the winner's pool. Get a job. But you, I mean, your, your big brother's telling me he wants to be famous and you guys are making these plans. Surely you want some I, of that I fame do, too, right? Yeah, I do want to do it with him because like, he's going to do it no matter what. He says if I don't do it with him, they'll just kill me too. Or leave me there, so I'll um, um, do it with him. Yeah. So y'all have been planning this since the 30th of June, you said? Yeah. That's the first time y'all talked about it? Well, not the first time we talked about blue money. He bought us a light vest and always said, you come to start with and I think you don't do it. But. Yeah. Um, you need anything? Okay. We're going to step up for just a second.
well. But, uh, I was right. To the guys that are interviewing Robert, um, kind of gave me a quick version of what he's saying that you did, yeah. and, and you haven't told me everything. Okay, so I know you're not being completely honest, and uh, I gave you one shot already. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're not saying. I mean, um, well, you stabbed more than one person. So who else did you stab? Or you stabbed more than just one time? Oh, I stabbed Chris more than one time. How many times did you stab him? I think twice. Because you don't think we're going to know that? Stop thinking and go with what you know. You mentioned forensics a minute ago. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm just one of like hundreds of people that are going to look at this thing, okay? I know. I mean, we got, we got the state police coming in. Uh, there's, I don't know, 20 different forensic detectives at your house right now. Um, They're going to be there a long time because of the scene that it is. So everybody that you killed and every single stab wound that you inflicted, we're going to know about. And this is your last chance to just kind of let us know, to be honest, to man up and tell us exactly what you did and, and start I making it right. I had Christopher. I did not stab Victoria with Daniel. You did not stab me. Yeah, yeah, I, I, um, I tried to stab them all. You stabbed them all? I took, yeah, I got when she was walking around, I tried to go for the night, but, you know, I, Is that when you cut yourself, you think? Yeah, I think right after that. Where did you stab her? I tried to go through behind it, kind of go by the thing. Did you cut her? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think you know, it doesn't seem like something you have to think about. I know it's, it's, I, you're still kind of dealing with it. Um. And I wasn't there, I wasn't the one doing it. But you don't have to think about it. You know what you did. So you, you cut her neck, you stabbed Christopher in the neck. How many times did you stab Christopher? Two or three, I think. And who else did you stab? Besides Mom. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing, everybody's been stabbed. And you both had knives, and we know you both stabbed everybody. So you guys are kind of at the same level, and so now it's, Who's going to be honest and make this right? And who's a liar? Okay, which one do you want to be? I'm not a liar. Okay, so you're a man of your word? Yes. Okay. And do you want to make this right and do the right thing at this point in time? Yes. Okay. What else okay. are you missing? You want to start over then? Come on. You, you tell us where you need to start. He stabbed. I didn't stab. I was stabbed to a twelve window. So. What about the crossbow? The crossbow? Yeah. Um, it was pulled back, like it didn't have a bolt to it or anything. I tried to tie it and broke. It so, broke? Yeah, I know that's when I use it. It's broke. It's cheap. So it so broke before last night? Um, it broke and I had to uh, you know, get out of fire because I wasn't able to do anything and yeah, I just need to uncock it. It's like when I went around the apple to go and this thing, you know. And that was a while ago, or that was last night? Oh, that was last night. Because you were supposed to use it. I was supposed to use it. I was caught back, and I wasn't going to use it, so I just had to, you know, clock in and look. So nobody's going to have any crossbow engines? No, no, they're not. Okay. What about the big knife, the machete? Did that get used on somebody? I think he might use it on I think that's what he might have used to stab him in the chest. And what about the surgical blade knife? I think that's what someone was there with, too. So, yeah, I think he used all of them. I only used the one. I used the, um, the green one. You only used the green one? Yeah. And you're sticking to that? Yes. And so, we only stabbed, you only stabbed the, your family because they were in the way? Uh, to, towards the bigger plan? No, um, no. Uh, well, the reason we used to kind of kill family is mm -hmm. um, they were in the way and they you know, a high count. That's a parable. Just to start off with a big count. So, um, so is this all a game? I mean, this higher count, how can you, is this a game? It's a, well, like, it's kind of become famous and get, you know, set a record. Did you, now, because you said, you said this yourself, 
you told Robert you killed three. And so now we're stuck at the point where you've told us you stabbed Christopher and your mother. Is there one more person that you stabbed and, and you didn't mention earlier? No. Okay. I, I can say to my mom that I, I didn't stab anybody else, but this is How did How do you feel about what you've done now? I, I didn't like it the minute it started. I mean, how do you feel about your mother? I mean, you, I mean she, you watched her get stabbed, you, you cut her throat yourself, and you watched her bleed all over the place and scream. How does that make you feel? No, I don't want to think about it. You don't want to think about it? And Christopher, your little brother, I mean, you stabbed him in the neck. What, what has he ever done to you? So he's just a number? Yes. And how does it, I mean, how do you feel about that now? It's pointless. It's what? Pointless. Pointless. Do you, um, do you, would you be willing to write us a statement, kind of explaining what we just talked about? Yeah. Um, kind of start at the beginning? I was, like, I don't know if I can get that all. Um, yeah, pen and paper is what I'm talking about. Okay. I've got these forms that you can write on. Um, you think you can do that for me? Sure, like about what? Well, what I would want you to kind of write down is basically what we talked about. Is okay, like like kind of talking about the plans that you guys put together, the stuff that you got, that he bought, that he bought for you, um, and then what you're going to do, and then what happened last night. Yeah, like a little timeline. Yeah, just basically like a timeline. Kind of like your story, like almost you're writing it for a, a book or a magazine or something. Okay. some of this for you first. Right. So you think the first time he ever talked to you about killing people was how long ago? First time he ever mentioned killing people, I don't know, it might have been 2013 to 2014. Okay, so let me uh, so you're going to put, it says I the other sign, so you're going to put your name right there for me, so go ahead and write your name there. And then it says and, and it wants to know how old you are in years. Okay, like, just me. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's and then it says, um, that's fine, we know. You were born on, so put your date of birth right here. Okay, like, um, however, it doesn't matter, however you want to do it. And the guns were supposed to be picked up from where? Oh, uh, you'll be now a gun shop. It's a town the other miles. And then... On uh, Elm? Yep. Put your address there, and you can come to the next line if you need to, if you need to run. And what was the name of that website? Uh, Bud's Gun Shop and the official Moscow website, I think. But, yeah, that's perfect. Um, let's see. So, let me put all these other pins here. Bye. So, put my name on here. So you know. Okay, so here's what it says I've been duly warned and advised by Eric Benz a person who has identified himself as a detective, that I do not have to make any statement at all, nor answer any questions or do anything that might go against me or incriminate me in any manner, and that any statement I made at Kim will be used against me. I was also advised I'm not able to, if I'm not able to hire an attorney on my request and have an attorney appointed for me by the proper authority without cause or charge to me. I do not want to talk to an attorney, and I hereby knowingly and purposely waive my right to the advice and presence of an attorney before and during any questioning or at any time before or while I voluntarily make the following statement to the aforesaid person, knowing that anything I say can or will be used against me in the court or courts of law. I declare that the following voluntary statement is made to the aforesaid person of my own free will, without promise or hope of reward, without fear or threat of physical harm, without coercion, favor or offer of favor, 
without leniency by any person or persons who ever. Do you understand all that? Yes. Okay. Um, so what you can do is, uh, yeah, you can write here, and then if you run out of space, just jump over here and write here. If you run out of space here, let me know. I've got more of these. So just do your best. If, don't worry about spelling. If you misspell something, it's not a big deal. This pen, this pen is like. You don't try to sound that much better. That one seemed kind of crappy too, though. Does that look better? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any other family that lives here? Um, Grandparents? I got a disabled. Anywhere? Um, we have an uncle and two grandmas and various cousins. Where do your grandmas live? Oh, I don't know. They live in I think it was in Florida and once in Greenfield. Um, do you know their names? Besides yeah. just grandma? Um, do you know either of their phone numbers? Um, I'm sure we can uh, contact of the phone. Okay. Um, and is she the one in Springfield or? Oh, uh, she's the one in Florida. Florida. Uh, if she's still in Florida, she might be in. Uh, she might be in Kansas with my aunt. Okay. What's the aunt in Kansas's name? Okay. So, does anybody live local? Oh uh, yeah, my uncle. What's your uncle's name? Uh, Your uncle, do you know about where he lives? Um, not that this neighborhood, it's like, um... Is it like up north from y'all? Like maybe 31st Street, 24th Street, 24th and 135th? Uh, yeah, I don't remember, but I, I'd have to... I'd need to press. Oh, oh, uh, at least, uh... You know. About how much more in your statement you got? Um, I don't know, about halfway through. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. 